Number 10. Shane Carwin was known for his vicious heavy hands and was known to finish his fights very quickly. He last fought Junior Dos Santos at UFC 131 where he lost the fight by a unanimous decision. After that fight, he walked away from the sport after suffering many injuries. Number 9. TJ Grant last defeated Gray Maynard by TKO at UFC 160. This victory would then earn him a title shot against then champion Benson Henderson at UFC 164. He was forced out of the fight due to an injury and was replaced with Anthony Pettis who won the title. He was rescheduled to face the new champion Anthony Pettis but was forced out of the fight again due to another injury. Since that time he has been recovering from his injuries and hasn't made up his mind if he wants to return to the octagon again. Number 8. Quinton Rampage Jackson last fought in the UFC when he defeated Fabio Maldonado by a unanimous decision at UFC 186. After a contract dispute with Bellator MMA, he returned to the promotion and faced Satoshi Ishii at Bellator 157 and won the fight by a split decision. Rampage is a well-known name in the world of mixed martial arts and always puts on great fights for the fans. Number 7 Tim Kennedy is a top 10 middleweight fighter in the world. He last fought Yoel Romero at UFC 178 where he lost the fight by TKO in the third round. Since then he has taken a break from fighting as he is not happy with the way the sport is heading. He also wasn't happy with a lot of fighters failing their drug tests. He mentioned he will only consider making a comeback for a special fight. Number 6 Dan Hardy last defeated Amir Sodala by a unanimous decision at UFC on Fuel TV 5. Later, it was found he had Wolf Parkinson White Syndrome, which is a condition that causes the heart to beat fast for periods of time. He turned down the treatment offered to him as he said the condition didn't cause him any problems. He is currently waiting to be cleared to fight. Number 5 the Korean Zombie is one of the most exciting fighters in the UFC featherweight division. He last fought then UFC featherweight champion Jose Aldo at UFC 163 and lost the fight by TKO in the fourth round. He is currently completing the mandatory military service in South Korea and plans to return to the octagon in the future. Number 4 Brock Lesnar last faced Mark Hunt at UFC 200 where he won the fight by a unanimous decision. Later it was found that he tested positive for two banned substances. Even though he failed his drug test and still is under contract with the WWE, he still showed that he can bring a lot of attention to the sport and showed that he can still compete at a high level. Number 3 Nick Diaz is the former Strikeforce welterweight champion and still is a massive draw in the UFC. He last fought Anderson Silva at UFC 183 and lost the fight by a unanimous decision. After the fight he tested positive for marijuana and was suspended by the Nevada State Athletic Commission for 18 months. Now that he is clear to fight, he said he will only consider making a comeback if he is offered a big fight. Number 2 George St. Pierre walked away from the sport after his fight against Johnny Hendricks at UFC 167, vacating his UFC welterweight title. Since he has been away from the sport, the UFC welterweight division has evolved so much that a number of new prospects have emerged. If GSP made a comeback, he will definitely still be able to compete at a high level. Number 1 Ronda Rousey lost a UFC bantamweight title to Holly Holm by knockout in the second round of UFC 193. Since the loss, she has completely removed herself from the sport. Ronda Rousey put women's MMA on the map which paved the way for other female fighters to follow the same path. It would be just disappointing to see her walk away from the sport with the loss as she has so much potential to be champion again. It is still not clear whether or not she will be coming back.